the CJRB Pyrite alt. CJRB did it again, guys. They did it twice in the same year. Just uh, when you thought they had come out with the uh, ultimate budget folding knife, they do it again. I just... I... Welcome to Average Gear Review. Real quick, guys, just remember this is just one in a series of videos that we're doing. So make sure that you like the video. Leave a comment down below. Tell, let me know what knife you want to see next. And make sure you subscribe with your notifications turned on so you can follow along with the series. Okay, let's get back to it. But the best gear is the gear you have on. And what is up, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back with another quick little unboxing for you. In this one, we're continuing with the new knife month as we're opening 15 knives in the next 30 days. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to follow along with that. In this video, we're taking a look at something really cool from CJRB. I'm really late to the party on this one, guys, but I'm super excited to open this one up. Um, so yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're here at the top-down view. Um, take About to get into the box, and you can see here we've got the CJRB Pyrite Lite. Super excited to get into that. We're going to go ahead and use the CJRB Pyrite Alt to open it up. I wanted to have it around so we could kind of make some comparisons between the two since it's, uh, you know, sort of like the big brother. And not really even uh, so much the big brother. And, uh, of course, it comes with a nice Cordura pouch, nice zippered Cordura pouch, CJRB. Always comes with a pretty nice pouch with them. Fleece lined. Looks like you've got a sticker in here, which is cool. I didn't have a CJRB sticker. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to add that one to the collection. Let's see if we can get it straightened out here. I'm have to add that one to the collection. But, um, yeah, just a nice fleece lined case. And these are really great for just storing, you know, storing knives long-term and, um, does come with a, a decent little cleaning cloth, pretty good size microfiber cloth actually with the old CJRB logo on there. So yeah, that's cool. Let's get those out of the way. Cause that's not really what we're interested in. This is what we really want to see. The CJRB Pyrite light. Just look at that. That is really cool. And it does feel fairly lightweight, even just right out of the package. Um, so some of the particulars on the knife, you are looking at a three. It's got a 3.34 inch Warncliffe blade. You can see there's no thumb holes or anything. It's just a thumb stud deploy. It is using their AR RPM 9 steel. And they've got uh, black PVD coating on them. That's really cool. That AR RPM 9, I think they're seeing is a 59 to 61 Rockwell hardness. So, um, you know, depending on the heat treatment there. You got some nice textured FRN handles. I really like those. Those are cool. Um, a nice scalloped area here for your index finger to fit into. And it feels very nice in the hand. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that this blade was a little bit longer than the original Pyrite, but it has a 3.34 inch blade on this one. And I believe the one on the original Pyrite was a 3.1. So yeah, you can see there it does have a slightly longer, slightly longer blade on it. Really, really nice jimping back here on the top. If you know, if you know me, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that uh, I'm a big fan of jimping. Um, can make or break a knife design, in my opinion. does have this choil here where you can choke up on it and really get on top of it for those drawing cuts. And, of course, that flat Warncliffe style blade is going to be really good for that type of cutting. Looks like you do have a lanyard handle up here. And you can see that the pocket clip, you can set it up for left or right-handed carry. So that's cool. Love it when knives will have the option to switch back and forth between a left or right hand carry. Got a decent um, steel clip in it. Actually has nested. Um, this The uh, clip is actually nested into the uh, handles there. So it doesn't stick up. You got no mushrooms growing in the shade. Everything's nice and flat. Which is, uh, you love to see that. 
I'm not sure if this has a captive pivot or not because it does have, um, it's got, looks like a T8 on both sides. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a um, captive pivot or not. This one is the button lock model. There's a good look at the um, button lock. You can see kind of how it works there. And it's a little bit stiff out of the box. Let's give it a few flicks. But I'll tell you, it's got a nice, um, it's got a really nice feel to that button lock. When it gets towards the bottom, it really sucks it in there and closes it up nicely. Got a good feel to the flick. It flicks by the thumb really easily. Index finger flick is on point. You can slow roll it. It will get a little bit ahead of you there in the middle, but uh, you can slow roll it. It's got a very nice feel to it. You can open it using the button. So that's cool. Lots of different deployment methods and it feels great. Uh, if you use thumb or index finger, or if you use the button to deploy it, it feels really great. It's got a, it's got a really nice feel to it. And when it closes up, it again, it kind of has that, uh, if you're familiar with button locks, the way they'll kind of suck it into the, to the handles there towards the end is very nice. And this one uh, seems like it's tuned very well. So yeah, I, I really like the feel of that. So this one is called the lightweight because it is slightly lighter weight than the normal, um, the normal pyrite. So I've got the stainless steel version. This is the alt and it's the one that had the uh, thumb. It's got a thumb hole instead of the thumb studs and it has the uh, Warncliffe. So that was the difference between the normal pyrite and this one. I've always been a big fan of the, their Warncliffe blades. They look really nice, but um, I believe that the pyrite light weighs in at 2.8 ounces. The stainless steel pyrite alt weighs in at 3.7 ounces. So almost a, an ounce lighter, which is not that big of a deal. But um, something that is interesting is that the Benchmade bug out, the standard version in black with the FRN handles weighs in at like 1.8 ounces. So this is just one ounce heavier than a bug out. And um, compared to the bug out, I would say that the handles feel a lot thicker. Hold on, let me let me just grab a bug out here. I don't know why we're comparing it to one instead of just grabbing one. So this bug out's not exactly the same because I've put the stainless or the titanium handles on it. But uh, you can see as far as the size, the size comparison goes, they're really similar in size. And so this one's going to be about an ounce heavier than the off the shelf bug out. And to me, this one seems like it's thicker. And it just seems, you know, just seems like it's thicker, more substantial handles to it. Whereas the um, the bug out, the bug outs are really, really thin. It looks like this does ha does have some nested steel liners in there, so that's good. It's not just the FRN handles. You actually do have some steel backing that up, which uh, you like to see that. And I'm um, trying to see if it's like a skeletonized. Kind of looks like it's just got like flat steel inserts underneath there. And a couple of offsets, basically. Um, and then your pivot. Let's check that pivot. Because I want to see one that is, okay, it is a T8. And I'm really wanting to know if that is or is not a captive pivot. I don't think it is. It feels like it wants to turn both sides. Yeah, so I don't believe it does have a captive pivot on it. The hardware screws. Are those also T8s? No way the hardware, the body hardware screws are actually T8s as well. I think those are T6s. Let's see. Nope. 
It was the T. I guess they are T8. That's wild. Yeah, they are T8. So T8, T8 pivot and T8 body screws in this one, which uh, man, you love to see that, especially in uh, an a inexpensive knife. This knife is twenty nine ninety nine. I will have a link for it in the description down below if you want to pick one up. Um, it'll be an Amazon affiliate link. So again, if you want to help support the channel and get a good deal on them, they're running $29.99 right now. But um, yeah, really, really super cool. I, I dig this knife a lot. Um, I love the FRN handles. It feels nice and solid in my hand. And that worn cliff is just, it's just right. Um, feels feels really really nice in the hand again that's the one thing in these videos that we can't really convey to you is the just the feel of the knife so um yeah trust me you're going to want to add one of these to your collection if you're looking for an inexpensive edc knife um again this is just an unboxing and first impression but but with my experience with the um with the other pyrite that i've got i would say snatch one of these up um, it's a larger knife that is lighter, um, and it actually feels like the button has gotten a little fine tuning. The button feels even better than um, the other pyrites, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it's just because these are broken in, or it might be because of the steel handles. But uh, yeah, I really, really like the FRN version. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about the uh, FRN, about the lightweight ones. I know these have been out for a while and a lot of people probably already have them. But uh, yeah, you know, as always, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So, uh, you know, of course, this is the second video in the lineup. I'm going to have another one coming up shortly after this one. I've got something to catch up on. So make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on so you know when those future videos come up. Because believe me, you don't want to miss any of these. I promise they're, they're all going to be really good. So, uh, yeah, we'll have another one coming up shortly after this. Uh, comment down below what you think I should open up next. Let me know what you want me to open up next or what you'd like to see. And um, I would love to know your thoughts on that. Anyway, guys, like I always say, always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. So guys, I hopped out of here really quick without doing even a rudimentary cutting test on it. So I wanted to jump back in here really quick and interrupt um, and just do a couple of little cut tests with it. Um, we've got a post-it note here. Very sharp. I mean, it just really slices right through that. Let's try with a piece of notebook paper. What does this notebook paper say? Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, this was from another video. Woo! Guys, that thing is confetti making sharp. Yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hmm. Which one? Okay. Average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.